we heard from a pretty important witness on day nine of Doomsday Cult Mom Lori Vallow's trial. So this is Melanie Gibb, and Melanie Gibb actually met Lori in 2018 at a church. She was actually with Lori at the conference when she first met Chad. When Melanie was on the stand and talked about this conference where Lori first met Chad, she said the two had a definite attraction right away, that they were extremely flirty, and she says they kept in touch after the conference, even though they were both married. So Melanie talked a lot about Lori's beliefs, including the multiple probation that she believed in, which was that people could live multiple lives here on earth. She also talked about the rating system that Lori believed in, that it went from light to dark. And if you were light, you had signed a contract with Jesus. And if you were dark, you basically signed a contract with the devil. She also talked about castings, which was basically having these kind of ceremonies that would cast out demons or spirits that were invading other people. She talked about the conversation she had with Lori about the night Charles was shot. So Lori told her that Alex had stayed the night because she was worried that Charles was going to come hurt her. So the next morning when Charles came to get JJ for school, basically they got into an argument because Lori had taken Charles's phone. I guess she claims that Tylee came out with a bat. And in that time, somehow Charles got the bat. Alex went and got a gun. Charles supposedly hit Alex with the baseball bat. And then supposedly Alex shot Charles. She also shared that Lori was having an affair with Chad, that they would meet at hotels, that Lori was falling in love with him. She also made comments that she couldn't take care of JJ anymore because it was taking time away from her spending with Chad. So Melanie had gone and visited with Lori um, in September and I guess Tylee wasn't there. And when Melanie asked, she claimed that Tylee was living at a school with roommates, but all of Tylee's items were gone. And when Melanie asked about that, uh, Lori told her that they were in storage. She also talked a lot about the fact that Chad was basically living with her, but yet still married. And she said, why doesn't he get divorced? And Lori said, because it would ruin his standing with God. Around Christmas time, Melanie claims that Chad called her and said that the police were going to be calling her not to answer the phone. Melanie says she did ignore the phone call because she didn't know at the time what was going on. She said later on, Lori called her and asked her to actually lie for them and say that she had JJ and that she was at the Frozen 2 movie. And she even asked her to take pictures of random kids in the movie theaters to give to police. Detective Nathan Duncan was on the stand as well. He had responded to Alex's 911 call after shooting Charles. When he got there, he said there was not much blood. And if someone had have done CPR on Charles, there would have been much more blood. He also said Chad called the mortuary lying about who he was. And he wanted to have Charles's body cremated as soon as possible and sent back to Louisiana. Hit follow for more updates.